Hey, hey, it's Bima. Welcome back to Bima's Happy Place. Um, I'm sure you noticed the change of scenery. Uh, we had a little bit of flooding in our apartment and my bookcases that are normally behind me got ruined. Um, some of the things that I had to unbox, the boxes got wet and in a fit of frustration, uh, they were taken out of the box so they wouldn't be, you know, the dolls themselves wouldn't be ruined and packed away in boxes. Stop chewing on that. Um, so we had to pack a lot of things up, um, to get it out of the way. And, uh, so, yeah, this is going to be the background, uh, for now. Um, stop chewing on it. <laughs> so, we're going to go ahead and get started with today's video. Um, and I'll go ahead and open this thing that my cat keeps chewing on. Because it is apparently a good thing. Uh, so I picked it. Oh, no, she's been chewing on it a lot. Oh, gosh. Okay. So, <laughs> I got one of the new Mermaids dolls. Um... So it's the Mermaids Mermaids from MGA and my Target uh, near me had two in stock. Um, they had this one and they had, this is the back of the packaging, they had this one with the blue colored hair. Um, so this is the ones that you can collect in this series. This one is Harmonique, I believe is what that says. Pop star, performer, no spotlights enough. Now, right off the bat with these dolls, one thing with this doll in particular that I don't like is in all of the artwork on the box, she has braids. The doll does not have any braids. So that may have been a prototype thing and then they just didn't like the way it looked, but you should have changed your artwork, I feel like. So we're going to get her out of the box and take a look at her. Um, so already I'm not really a fan of the packaging because uh, my cat has been apparently chewing on her tail fin. <laughs> so my paint is chipped, but that's not like a product defect defect or anything. That's a, my cat is a teething cat and can't keep her teeth to herself. So <laughs> I'm going to get this doll out of the box and we'll take a closer look at her. Okay, she's out of the packaging. Um feel like the packaging could be better because you basically have to open everything to or I had to open all the pieces to get her to come out the end because there's tape everywhere and then this piece down here is kind of wasteful um, because something could be inside of it but all that was in there was the um, like feedback sheet and then this paper telling you that they have color change tails. They either change in hot water, cold water, and there's one doll that changes um, in both. Um, so I feel like that was a little bit wasteful, but anyway, I digress. Uh, her face is beautiful. Like, it's really, really pretty. I am a fan of the inset eyes and the rooted eyelashes. She's got very pretty eyes. Um, I like the jewelry. I like the makeup. I like what they did with her outfit here. I'm just not sure how sturdy these pieces will be in the long run because all of this is like a like a vinyl almost, like a holographic vinyl. And I feel like if this was a kid playing with this, um, it would probably get ruined pretty quick. But it's really cute just as like a display piece. Um, so, I mean, there's so many details, so many things to look at. So many bits and bobs and chains and buckles, and I'm a fan. Um, her top is not, you know, she's got the big sleeves that's a lighter, per, uh, lighter pink than the chest here. Um, she has some molded on bracelets on this arm, which we'll look at in a second. She's got some rings. Their hands are removable. Uh, to help you dress them. She is wearing a little choker. She does have a little microphone um, headset thing. Her hair is very long. Her hair is as long as she is. Um, so lots of hair to play with there. She's got these little silver rubber bandy deals that are over clear rubber bands. Um, her tail does move forward and back, and this is what you use to, like, balance her to stand. 
Um, I don't know if she'll stand. Oh yeah, so you can flip it forward or you can flip it back um, to get her to stand up. Right now it's flipped forward like this. And when I started the video, like it was flipped back like that. So she can stand either way. Uh, she does have movement um, at the hips, at the upper torso, the upper torso. Um, she's got rotation at the head. She doesn't really tilt down, but she does not really tilt so much up and down, but she does have tilt from side to side. Uh, she's got shoulder, elbow, and wrist um, movement. She does have ring, rings just on the one hand and bracelets just on the one arm. Um, so her top also comes off and she has a painted on top underneath so that she can, you know, play in the water. And they come with a little bag. Hers is this translucent pink handbag. Um, so they're kind of cute. I think she was like $32 or something like that. Um, I don't know. In the comments below, tell me how you guys feel about the Mermaids dolls. Uh, do you have any? Do you want any? Um, let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and do make sure happy. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.